In this video, we're going to be going over the top five problems on this first generation Chevy Tahoe. Now there's nothing wrong with this vehicle, there's nothing wrong with buying one or owning one. These are the top five problems that we have found. Every vehicle has their problems. Number one, the fuel pump. Some of the symptoms you may find is the vehicle won't start or the vehicle runs rough or it even has a lack of power. Now the fuel pump is located in the gas tank right here. You do have to pull the tank down to pull the straps off and there's some lines and stuff to disconnect. Drop the tank down. When you replace the fuel tank, it's always a good idea to replace the fuel filter. Having a clogged fuel filter may give you some of those symptoms as well, so you might want to check that before you go ahead and replace the, the fuel pump, but always check that and replace it. On top of the engine, the back of the intake, there's a Schrader valve right there. You can put a fuel pressure gauge on that and then you can check to make sure your fuel pressure is up to par. Number two, intake gaskets. Now the intake is located right in the center of the engine, in between the two heads. Now coolant passes from one head through the intake to the other head. So the gasket itself can leak internally into the engine, so it can mix the coolant into the oil. And also the coolant could leak externally too, so you may see coolant dripping on the ground. In that case, you don't want that to happen because you could end up with oil in your coolant as well, and you don't want any of that. Coolant going into the engine oil can actually damage the engine. And if you see that your oil level is extremely high, that could be a case that the coolant's going into the engine. But normally you'll see this oil be a little bit milky. It's not really the case in this engine. But. Now, when you go to replace the intake gaskets themselves, uh, you don't have to remove this upper part of the intake. That comes all together. Um, there is a lot of stuff you need to move out of the way. Pull the AC compressor out of the way. Um, pull the distributor out. You're gonna have to recheck the timing afterwards. And there's a couple bolts on the front, two on each side, two in the back. Pull the intake up, clean the gaskets up, put new gaskets down. Put it back together and you should be good to go. Number three, the power steering pump. Now if you're driving along and you lose power steering, the power steering pump is located right here. A lot of times visually you will look at the pump and you won't see anything leaking or anything visually wrong with it. If you take the serpentine belt off, you could grab the pulley and the pulley slides right out and the shaft of the steering pump is actually sheared right off. In that case, the pump has to be replaced, put everything back together, bleed the system, and you should be good to go. Number four, the windshield wiper board. Now located right here on the wiper motor, under this cover, there's a board that controls the windshield wipers. It basically tells the motor what to do. And sometimes there's moisture inside that and that'll cause the wipers not to work. Now what you can do if you're in an emergency situation, just give this a tap. You, if you have a little hammer, tap that. Sometimes the motor, if the motor's bad, tapping the motor will help at least get the wipers to start working again. After doing that, if the wipers work again, it's only temporary solution. You're gonna wanna replace this board and or the motor. It's best to replace them both at the same time. Another part that could cause a similar condition that's pretty common is the wiper switch itself. Number five, door handles. Not only the outside door handles, but also the inside door handles. Now for the inside door handles, a lot of times you see them break right at the lever part right there. For whatever reason, if there's a weak spot or maybe the door latch itself is binding up and it causes that to fail. So in that case, this whole piece would have to be replaced. And the outside door handle, now this one's cracked right there, but sometimes the handle part will crack. And in that case, this whole piece would have to be replaced. So those are our top five problems for this Chevy Tahoe. Now we sell most of those parts at 1AAuto.com. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring that bell and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.